So this brings me to our final speaker. Please join me in welcoming Chair David Hochschild from the California Energy Commission to close out today's sessions. Well, thank you, Rebecca. And let's give it up for Rebecca, Lisa, and the Holding Energy Nexus team. <laughs> So I just want to begin by saying, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of heartbreak going on in our world today. Over 200 people died this week in the climate-driven storm, um, Hurricane Helene. There's a war, of course, going on in the Middle East. Um, but there's actually also a lot of hope, I think, here in California, hope in this room for the good we can do together by finishing the job of transitioning to a clean energy future. I think is really one of the greatest contributions we can make to the world. Um, and uh, California is playing this unique role. I just think it's important to step back and remember, you know, we are the birthplace for all of these clean energy industries. You know, the first utility scale solar project in the world built here, first terrestrial wind project built here, first electric vehicle, first energy codes and standards, uh, and so many other technologies. And we incubate those and we bring them to scale. And in our time now, New Energy Nexus um, in implementing the Energy Commission's programs here with Cal CalSeed and CalTestBed and some others is playing an extraordinary role um, because this is really the seed planting that we need. And just to, to mention 12 for a second, I mean, you guys got started with a $150,000 grant, right? And just raised last week $645 million. Give it up for them. It was incredible, right? Um, but that's that's what our job is. That's what our job is, to take all these great ideas in this room and scale them. Um, and I want to just take stock for a moment of some of the milestones that are happening uh, in, in California today, because it is actually incredible, and it's not getting the attention that it deserves. So we're 61% clean energy on the grid today. Uh, really, you know, alternative energy is the wrong word to use to describe renewables. Fossils alternative. And we're going to be at two-thirds clean energy within a year. And the next chapter of this is really the electrification of almost everything, and it's happening all around us. So in July, we did the first procurement of electric ferries in North America. Five electric ferries come to the bay. We're doing the charging infrastructure for that. Um, in August, the first school district to be 100% powered with electric school buses, 74 chargers, 74 buses, right here in Oakland, 100% of the kids going to school on electric school buses. Give it up for that, right? Um, September, uh, Caltrain electrifies. This two and a half billion dollar project, um, 51 mile line, converting from diesel to electric. Um, we also took delivery in California, the first electric tugboat in the world. We have the most electrified port uh, uh, in North America, Long Beach, electric uh, gantry cranes and key cranes. Uh, and so we're making it happen. And you know, the envelope of possibility for what can be electrified is rapidly expanding. I was, uh, this summer, did a visit to the Pepsi facility where there, you know, we have about 100 of these Tesla electric semi trucks uh, fully loaded. They told that the longest, they went on single charge, 545 miles on single electric charge. And in talking to the drivers, it was interesting, it was one guy who had been driving a truck for 30 years, the last year all electric, and he said, you know, it's better for my health. Mm -hmm. I experienced less fatigue from the vibrations, um, fumes and so on. And so it's a really nice alignment between what we need to do for climate and what we need to do for public health. Um, so the main thing I want to say is like, let's finish the job. The energy transition is well underway. And when you kind of step back and look, I mean, it's happening faster than people thought. You know, in 2011, 52% of our electric portfolio in the US was coal. We're down to 16%. I do not believe we're going to have an operating coal plant in the United States in 10 years, maybe even a little less. Um, you know, uh, electric vehicles here, we're at 26% of the vehicle sales in California, 1,300 EVs a day. Um, we are getting it done. And I just came back from the White House and, and DOE and a bunch of meetings with Congress. They're looking to us. They're looking to California to lead. They're keying off that. So we got to stay focused and really fulfill our potential together to build this future. And it really requires great partnerships. And I want to in particular thank, I see my friend Matt Baker, Commissioner at the Public Utilities Commission. They've been a great partner. The funding for all this program comes through the PUC, so let's give it up for the Public Utilities Commission. Thank you. Uh, 
And then I wanted to see, is Danny Kennedy still here? Yeah. Somewhere? Right. Okay, yeah, so Danny, I just want to highlight, Danny stepped down this summer after eight incredible years uh, building up New Energy Nexus. He took it over, had three people. What do you have now, 150 something? 50, yeah, yeah. Uh, incredible. And really, you know, you have been an absolute visionary. Uh, how many, raise your hands if you've been helped by Danny Kennedy in some, <laughs> some way, shape, or form. Um, incredible. So let's give it up for Danny. Thank you. Uh, uh, and we welcome uh, to you in your new role. It's great to, to see you, and we look forward to working with you. So. Let's stay locked in and let's get this job done. Thank you guys.